Hi, I am Mariah Hilbert with Horizon Group USA, a leader in jewelry making, fashion apparel crafts, and kids crafts. I am proud to introduce Susan Lennar Kasmer, an explorer, inventor, designer, and an artist of mixed media art, to bring you a unique, one-of-a-kind, found object jewelry components collection, Industrial Chic, only available at Michael's stores. Join Susan as she demonstrates how to turn commonplace objects into heartfelt story charms and jewelry. Hi, I'm Susan. Um, in this segment, I wanted to show you a lot more about the charms that is included in the uh, Industrial Chic program. You can find this program at Michael's. And um, I like to have, uh, actually a lot of the charms are made up of real people, real pieces. So they're really about pieces that you'd find um, every day in your world. And I consider them charms and talisman and just different pieces that I like having with me. Um, in this charm line, with any of the pieces that you see that have images in there, um, they'll be made so you can actually take them apart and put your own images in there. Uh, so for things like this, you know, I would, you could put friends in there, family, and just have them as a piece of your jewelry. Uh, these, this line is about making the pieces your own. So um, really it's a lot about personal choice on what brings joy into your life, what you'd like to wear. Um, I like to have pieces like dice because uh, it reminds me of board games that I played growing up, small cars and toys. So it really is a lot about what type of pieces you'd like to keep with you um, in your life, you know, just uh, uh, as mementos. Um, also, I have a lot of containers, and they do have things in there originally, but they're really meant to come apart and put your own work into these pieces. I would use something like this, like if I was at a beach on vacation. Um, I have, actually have a wonderful sand collection just from all over uh, different places I'd visit. Maybe I'd be tempted to put in small stones or I would put in sand. Uh, there's also pieces like these that you can put in notes or memento. This one has, uh, this included in the program, it has a small set of dice in the piece here. This, this is my own work and it has just a scroll in here. So these are all meant to be your personal. Um, this is actually the train bracelet. This is one of the simplest forms of just taking uh, the charms and linking them together and putting it on. Um, for my size wrist, I use six, six different charms that I'll pick out, and then I use a closure. Um, so this actually is made so it'll slide around on your wrist, and, um, you know, it's a surprise to see what piece ends up, ends up on top and what piece you can enjoy looking at. So this one is, um, I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to show you what type of tools that I'll need to put this together, and then I'm going to go ahead and build this. So really, for the whole line, I just need to use three tools, and that's the snips, needle nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. And for this, I can do just about anything in this program that I need to. So um, this piece is really redundant. On all the charms, you'll see um, that there's a split rings, actually, with my fingernail. There's two-part wire, and I'm just going to open them up, and I'll be able to link my pieces together. So this piece I put together ahead of time because, like I said, it really is just linking these up. It's um, picking out pieces that you'd like to see, making it your own, and then I just slide it together like that. And all the way down the line on all the pieces. And when I get to the closure, here's what the closure actually that I chose on here. I like this type of closure. It's a Tibetan clasp that I learned, and um, I like this because it actually, the number will cover up over your clasp, so you won't even see it. It just looks really like a continuous bracelet all the way around, continuous charms. So this is the, um, this is the train bla bracelet. If I want to add um, some horizontal pieces or just fun charms that maybe have a little bit of movement in my work, um, I, on this piece I have uh, a key that I put on, but I also just pulled, you know, maybe a couple other options that would really look kind of fun on here too. So I can just hook these up on here just the same way with the jump rings that I showed earlier. Uh, also included in the line, there is just pieces and parts that I can link, use as links. And I love using um, this I call the metal fiber. It's, it's dead soft wire. And this wire, um, you know, if I want to get a wrap onto here, I'm just going to go ahead and take my pliers and I'm going to make a hook or like a candy cane look here. 
and I'm going to choose where I want to put this piece. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just going to hook this on. I'm going to hold it on one end right underneath where the, the head pin is. And I'm just going to wrap it on. And I like, I really like pretty funky uh, wrapped wire that's kind of crazy. And so that's how I'm going to do mine. If you, you know, I think your wire work says a lot about yourself. There's some people that really like very, very tidy, tidy wire work. And, um, you know, it says a lot about your personality. So this piece, there's going to be an end on your piece. You want to make sure that you tuck this down in here. So that is what I'll use my pliers for, is to just tuck this down in here. And um, voila, have a finished piece. So if you like this idea, if you'd like to see other ideas of how to use um, pieces and parts from the Industrial Chic line, um, this is actually one of the project guides. And there's just different sketches and just different uh, pieces that you can put together. They have some pretty good um, directions in here. And at the very beginning, sketches and tools. And uh, so you'll be able to find this at Michael's. And also come to Michael's website to see more webisodes just like this one.